if you attain a solutions designation, you will get that new status solutions partner. And it's not going to prompt the system to make you hop on to the new package right away. Uh, meaning that if you had paid your silver fee, it's still going to be that same 1600 if it's in the US, 1850 if it's uh, Canadian. And you will have the badge of solutions partner by attaining it, you know, whichever one that you have. And you will continue to receive incentives after October 1st. On your next anniversary, if you have attained that solutions designation, you will only be allowed to renew under the solutions partner program. You will no longer be able to renew those legacy uh, benefits because you have met the requirements for the new program. So now your only option is to stay in the new program. For partners that do not meet the requirements for solutions designations, yes, they will lose their incentives as of uh, October uh, of this year, but they will be allowed to renew their legacy silver or gold membership as long as they haven't attained the solutions designation yet, and they're still willing to pay that annual fee to renew. So if you are a legacy silver partner, you know that was a silver partner with Microsoft uh, before, and that the main benefit for you is the free licenses that come with the silver benefits, and you're not able to attain that solutions designation or it's not worth it with the volume that you have with the new almost you know six thousand dollars canadian almost five thousand us fee for that membership you will be able to indefinitely renew those uh th those silver membership uh, so that you can get those free licenses from year to year to year but as soon as you attain solutions partner that means that you're on your next renewal the only option will be solutions partner. So you have to kind of be careful a little bit on when you hit that renew button and when you hit those solutions designations.